Good afternoon, everybody. Today we have our 1998 250 Sea Ray Sundancer, powered by a 5.7 liter EFI Merc Cruiser motor with a Bravo 3 outdrive. It's the fuel injected Merc Cruiser, not carbureted. Boat uh, offers a lot of different options that Sea Rays are known for. Starting off the back here, we have an integrated swim platform with a fold down ladder. The boat also has a bimini top with a full canvas enclosure, front curtain, two side curtains, and a backdrop. All the glass is in good condition, see through, not cloudy, and not cracked in any way. The boat also has a cockpit cover that covers from the windshield to the back of the transom. Also in good shape. Let me... Up front, the boat does offer a walk-through windshield to get to the bow, which I'll show you in front up once I get into the cockpit how to climb up, with non-skid on the bow as well so that you don't slip when trying to throw your anchor or sunbathing up on the bow. Also have an anchor locker forward for your rope storage with a bow pulpit and roller so it's very easy to throw and pull your anchor up. The boat comes with dual batteries with a battery switch. Engine access is located under here. You have a nice seating arrangement on this boat and the ability to seat six to even eight people comfortably, six very comfortably. comfortably. Storage here. More storage over here as well as your shore power hookup and battery switch is located in there as well. Little lounge seat here for one of your passengers to sit back and Enjoy the ride. Around the helm, we have a black and white Garmin GPS map that does work. It's on currently. Built in Lorand step finder. Standard gauge instrumentation with a Ritchie compass. VHF radio. Boat also has an AM FM radio. Um, that you can plug in. We also have hydraulic trim tabs or leveling tabs, some people like to call. Sea rays integrate the steps to get into up to the bow in the door, which is a nice concept. And all sea rays are known to have that. Inside the cabin, boat has a, a nice galley area with a refrigerator, alcohol, and electric stove, wash sink, microwave, here's your shore power and 12 volt system. There's your CD, or it's not a, it's an AM FM radio, not a CD player. Boat shows very well inside the cabin, guys. No water staining, no dropped headliner, all the upholstery inside is plush and still very soft to the touch. No mildew smell. It shows very well. We got some floor liners here that go over the top of the carpet to prevent the carpet from getting stained. The V-berth fills in here with the table and you can uh, it makes turns into a sleeping area. But it also comes with an aft cabin for additional sleeping passengers. There are two small children, one large adult, even two adults could fit in here with a cozy fit. There's the enclosure, additional cushions, and I'll show you what that looks like in here. The steps coming down. Boat comes with a porta potty or an enclosed head with a pump out, so you don't have to empty the porta potty, you just get it sucked out at the fuel pier, wash, sink as well with a little window port window in there overall this boat for a 98 shows very well 
and uh, we're about to show you how she runs in just a minute. Gary's going to get her up on plane and show you how she runs. Let me just do a little panoramic of the cockpit again. Bravo 3 really allows the boat to jump right on plane and ultimately when you're docking around the pier you get instant feedback when you go into gear with the dual prop situation. Here he's going to open her up across the fairway here. Oh, it looks like it's doing about 38 to 40 miles an hour wide open there. Boat should cruise 28 to 32 miles an hour all day long. Sea Ray has a timeless look. Very popular boats everywhere around the country. They hold their resale value and they just have a timeless look. Follow us on Facebook or YouTube channel for more information or up-to-date listings.